Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip, gossip. The rumor report. Gossip, gossip. With Angela, Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, we've been talking a lot about what Chance the Rapper has been doing in Chicago. The last thing that he did was he vowed to give a hundred, give a million dollars to Chicago public schools for the, you know, they need some help mm-hmm. in Chicago, the public schools. Now, now he's posted an open letter from three students at Lakeview High School, Alex Rojas, Alandro Cerros, and Annalise Betancourt. The letter says, first and foremost, we as Chicago public school students would like to thank you for the supportive donation to our schools. As we all know, CPS has been struggling financially and your donation has really given us a push to get where we need to be and possibly motivate others to give back to the community as well. Now, they also talk about other celebrities being encouraged after Chance the Rapper made that million dollar donation, such as Derrick Rose. And they said there's a lot of celebrities that are from Chicago, but you are one of the few that really give back. And then in the letter, the students say in Chicago, a person is shot every two hours and 48 minutes. A person is murdered every 14 hours and 27 minutes. And you help stop gun violence in Chicago for 42 hours with the help of your Twitter account and various Chicago radio stations. Even though this was three years ago, the fact you had such a tremendous impact on Chicago shows how much the people of the city look up to you. Drop on the clues bomb for Chance the Rapper, damn Mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Salute that young man. I know he felt great reading a letter like this from the actual students who are going to be affected and who have been affected so far That's from his generosity it. and all the concerts that he does for free in his city and everything. That's so what it's about. Absolutely. Hopefully a lot of people follow suit after that. All right, Cardi B, she recently did an interview with Vlad TV and she talks about doing threesomes, but she doesn't do them because she likes them. She actually doesn't like them. Here's what she said. I had a threesome a couple of times, but when I do it, it's just only to satisfy my dude, to get cool points with my dude. But I never really enjoy it. I enjoy intimacy. When it's the three thing, it's just like a show. You know, it's just it's fake, like porn. You're just doing it to look good. Young Cardi is right. Uh, I had a friend come to Uncle Charlotte yesterday asking the same advice because her boyfriend says, you know what, you do everything for me and I love everything you do for me, but I want a threesome. And I'm just like, yo, he just being greedy. Like, do you want to do that? And she was like, no, but I would do it for him. That's silly. That's silly. Mm-hmm. If you don't do anything that you don't want to do. I totally agree. All right, Nick Cannon and Birdman. Yes. I'm surprised, by the way. All right, Uncle Charlotte gives great advice. I thought you'd have been like, you got to do it for him then. You hated on that man? <laughs> I didn't hate on him. Okay. Right. All right, Nick Cannon and Birdman are teaming up. They're going to be producing a basketball film. It's going to be kind of like Save the Last Dance meets Love and Basketball. So I can see that. They both seem very athletic. <laughs> they said Nick <laughs> wrote the treatment and gave the idea to Birdman, so they're also going to, yeah. I guess they said the game is already going to be in it. They're already scouting a location, and they're going to start filming in July. What's it called? Like, what is it going to be? Like, is, I don't know. Okay. You said it's what? like Love and Basketball? It's like a Love and Basketball meets Save the Last Dance. I'm not mad at that, though, because I feel like we need some more black love stories. We don't have no black love stories anymore. You know, we had Brown Sugar. We had Love and Basketball. We had Love, love Jones. Jones. Yeah. I mean, when's the last time we had a nice black love story? The Christmas one. What's the Christmas one? I don't oh, remember. This is oh, Christmas Man one. Too? Oh, Best Man 2. And that was a no love story. People was in there dying of cancer and all kind of crazy stuff. That movie was oh. depressing. That's Whack it. and uh, Frisco Chuck are going to be funding and acting in the movie as well. Who is that? Whack. You know Whack. The Whack man. 100? Yeah. The games manager. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Hillary Clinton. The word is that she is talking about perhaps running for mayor. Now, there was a small politically connected meeting and a source that was there at the gathering said that she brought up the topic of running and she is seriously considering it. So perhaps she'll be mayor of New York. She needs to relax. Just, yeah, just try. Relax, just though. chill. You, she needs to relax yeah. and retire. Yeah. Why? You can't, you, can't, you can't almost be the president of the United States of then America. Then go to mayor. Then go be a mayor somewhere. That you don't can, sound right. You're almost 70 years old. You got money. Just Kick relax. your feet up, man. She yeah. should not relax if she feels compelled yeah. to try to make a change and make a difference and okay. feels that her voice is needed in this time. She's right. done a lot for us. Well, if she wants to run for mayor, she should run for I mean, mayor. I'll support. Right. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your win? rumor report. <laughs> and that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. Like, if she don't win, man. She'll be our alderman. It's like, now we just looking <laughs> at you like you a loser. Yo. Like, just Stop. relax. Like mm-hmm. I said, you know, it's... Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.